All right, Steve, good stuff. You know, it's Friday night of a holiday weekend. We think about it, we're halfway through this holiday weekend. We've still got Saturday and Sunday to go, but before we get there, things are rocking over at Carter Finley tonight as North Carolina made the 30 minute trip down the road playing NC State. We'll have uh, details on what's happening over there in just a minute, but I want to point out. It's cold tonight. The cold front that moved through, it worked, and it's setting us up for one of the coldest mornings of the season so far. Not the coldest, but listen, in my book, it's pretty close. 24 has been our coldest so far, and we're going down to 28 by tomorrow morning. Outside right now, most of us still in the low 40s, including 43 here in Raleigh. It's 40 up in Wake Forest, already 39 up in Lewisburg and Franklin County. We've got mid 40s down in the sand hills that includes 47 in Fayetteville a couple degrees cooler down in Hope Mills it's also 44 over in Rayford tonight so as we go hour by hour tonight the winds have calmed down from today we've got clear skies it's really dry out still and we've got longer late November night so you put all that together and you get the opportunity for the atmosphere to get cold in a hurry so we drop through the 30s tonight and we wind up at 28 tomorrow morning and it will stay chilly tomorrow but I've got a couple different warm ups for you on the extended forecast. So, first, right now, high pressure in control after the front moved through early, early this morning. I told you most of you sleep through the rain, and that's it happened at my house. I don't know if it happened at your house. We slept in this morning. But we've got a northerly flow right now. So, that's going to help lower our temperatures tonight and keep us cool tomorrow. But it will be sunny and not as windy as where we were today. So, a chilly day tomorrow. But as high pressure shifts east and our winds come more out of the south on Sunday, that's going to warm us up. But we've got another cold front getting close. So that'll throw some clouds our way, even though this is a dry cold front. And even though there's no rain with it, trust me, there is some colder temperatures. You will feel that on Monday as we head back to work and school. Again, no rain. But it is going to be chilly as things kind of get back to normal after the holiday. So for tomorrow, chilly day with temperatures in the low to mid 50s. That means 52 in Dunn, 53 in Sanford Saturday afternoon. We'll keep it in the low 50s in Johnston County. You guys in Rocky Mount Saturday afternoon will make it up to about 51. Again, lots of sunshine, a light southwesterly flow, and look for temperatures in the low 50s here in the Triangle. So from 52 tomorrow, we jump up to 60 on Sunday. Then our next cold front drops us to 49 on Monday. So you got to kind of keep up with, you, with the forecast. I mean, 50s, 60s, 40s, 50s, 60s as we get into the extended forecast. Wednesday, a high of 61. That's the first day of December. And then we really get into the 60s late next week. And your exclusive 10-day forecast brings our next chance of rain. It's going to be a while next weekend. So our three degree guarantee high tomorrow 52. Today we made 54. And after forecasting 52, we're still within three degrees and that's another $100 from us and our friends at Michael and Son going to this month's charity table. That's $2,500 for the month. Learn more about the great work they do in helping to feed kids in Orange County at tableandseed.org. All right, that's